Hey YouTube, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial and in this video in Flutter we are going to explore rows and columns and rows and columns are actually great widgets in Flutter I mean obviously everything in Flutter is a widget and so are rows and columns and they are great because they help us to keep multiple widgets together I mean as of now we have been talking only about a single widget whether it was a text or a button but using rows and columns we can keep multiple widgets on our screen so without wasting any time let's start learning about them so I have this sample code and I did get rid of my body so I'll say body and this body used to have a widget as of now we are working with the center widget which used to hold a child and the child used to be a text widget or a button and now I'm going to say that this is a column now column has this very amazing property which is children it doesn't has a child it has a children and these children can be a list of widgets and when I say list of widgets I mean this can be a text widget so let's say that this is my text widget I'm saying that this is text at the same time there can be a raised button I'm saying that this is my raised button this is an on press property and come on not outside and then it has a child and the child is again going to be a text the text says raised button and now I'll save this let's wait till it runs and as you can see on my screen here is a text and this is a raised button so two things that you should consider learning as of now the first one is that th there can be a list of widgets and they these widgets they have their own property like there is nothing like if I use a text widget inside a column then its properties changes or some properties are not available there is nothing as such so you see I use raised button with all the properties like on pressed I give it a child which was another text widget and it worked fine now what you have to actually learn in column is that how you how to keep these elements I mean obviously this is very easy you you have to just remember this syntax which says children that will take a list of visit and you can just keep you know inserting widgets on top of each other I can go another text after this raised button another raised button and so on but what's important to learn is that how these both are kept and for that we have to talk about main axis alignment and cross axis alignment so let me just increase the font size okay I think it's too huge so first one is this main axis alignment and for a column this is the main axis that's top to bottom and right to left is the cross axis so main axis alignment has you know multiple options like we don't have to provide them they're already available you can see we have main axis alignment dot center dot end start space evenly space between space around now center says that keep them on the center according to the main axis now center doesn't mean this center this is the main axis for these both elements and this will keep this in the center which is right here that's exactly at the point start is by default which you saw already it will keep them both in the start and so is the end you know it doesn't need an explanation it will keep them both in the end what actually you should learn or what actually we should be talking about is the space evenly space around and space between now the most easiest one is this space between okay remember space between means every available space should be kept in between the widgets so I have two widgets so every is available space is kept in between these two widgets so pushing both of them to the corner space around says that give equal spacing around them so these text you know each and every widget will have some particular space and that space will be around the widget now on the top this widget has nothing so there is particular space and this raised button has nothing on the bottom so I have some particular space but they both have their space which add up in between hence making them a little bit farther and then comes a space evenly which says that give them both even spacing so these text has equal space on the top as on the bottom and that same space is provided to the raised button on the top and to the bottom so that was all about spacing in columns and we use them only to align the elements like don't worry you don't have to use them to give a spacing although the name is space evenly space around or space between now talking about cross axis alignment cross axis alignment doesn't has many options it has you know baseline center and start stretch 
now first of all center you may not see a result as of now but this keeps both of them in the center take a look at this text i mean if i get rid of this if i save this then and if i tell this to be and start let me save this now this is here at the start fine i give this at a center and you may not see any difference let me say this space evenly but you will see a difference when i give this as a start come on start and if i save this you will see that now this text is posed to the start while it was in the center by default if i say end it will be posed to the end of you know with respect to this visit and you can see that now there is spacing in the front if i say stretch this will actually stretch itself the raised button since it's a button it can stretch itself now text button text visit can't stretch itself so raised button stretches itself and fills the screen the last one was the baseline if i save this you know you get an error because this is a different property which asks for us for some text baseline which is not available as of now so we will not talk about that now same way we have rows 2 if i just get rid of this entire code obviously actually i should not get rid of this text and raised raised button so i'll cut them and then i will erase everything in the column and now i'm saying row now row again as usual will have our children which will be a list of visit and if i paste them if i save them then you see now this both are in a row now for row the main axis is right to left while the cross axis is from top to bottom again the main axis in row will have all the options that were available to us like main axis dot center save it now they both are in the center dot start space around and they will have some spacing around if i say space evenly it will have even spaces around them if i say end they will be at the end and so on and so are the options available for cross axis alignment for row which will be in this case like if i say cross axis alignment and that's going to be cross axis alignment dot center and this i'm saying to be on the center save it it looks like this we, we may not have any effect but if i say this start now you know it's in the start while it's at the bottom if i say this end now this moves down and this is how it works in a row and column but this is but this ain't looking good right actually there is actually as you know as you as we will move coding in flutter we will be creating some projects and then you will actually understand rows and column but what my concern right now is that to make sure that you understand two things the first and a very most commonly asked question is that how can i keep these things in the exact center and second one is that do i use this space evenly or space around to provide spacing so let's understand both of them not at once one by one now for that i will first get rid of this uh, row and now i'm saying that to keep anything in center you will first use this center visit and this center visit will ask for a child which will be let's say a column and this column will again have a visit and this visit can be our visit list which we already had now you see we both the both is in this manner again you may not see a difference as of now because now i have to give this a main axis alignment of center save this and now this both are the center what happens is that this center makes sure that everything is in the center of the screen which was right here by default and when i said i give when i gave it a main axis alignment so the may is a bit respect to the main axis they move to the center now the second question which is that how can i provide a spacing between them like should i should i be using this space around you can provide spacing but this will not be what you wanted so this is not the way you provide spacing actually what we use is that we wrap these widgets with this another widget we call as padding you see we have this option of add padding and that's very simple we have this widget padding which will have a property padding that will have an as insects dot property and it will have a child and the child can be our widget now child can be our widget which was text as we had now this padding is something that you have to understand is insects dot will give us multiple options all which means from all the side we have from left top right bottom we have from window padding then only and then symmetric which means vertical and horizontal if i use symmetric and if i say vertical let's say 10.0 and if i say horizontal let's say 20.0 save it 
and this is how you see we gave a little bit of spacing between this button and the text widget so you can use padding to pro provide you know spacing and the same padding which is a widget can also be used inside a raised button to provide spacing between the button borders and the text widget which you saw earlier anyways now moving forward to another last yet important concept that is nesting rows and columns because only by nesting rows and columns we create more amazing uis i mean obviously there are multiple options too but for the basics this is very important and not just the basics anytime you will need this if you are creating an application so moving forward with them i'll get rid of this entire center and i'm saying that my body has just a column fine and this column has a main axis alignment and the main axis alignment is of center and the children is a list of visit and these are usual my text visit and my raised button okay i should actually be let me just cut this and let me say that this is inside a center with a child just save this and now it looks good fine now what i'm saying is that my column has a text visit but this particular column doesn't has a single button it has two buttons so instead of this raised button okay, i'll cut this raised button now i'm saying that this there is a row okay and this row has its own main axis alignment which is main axis alignment dot space around fine and then i'm saying that it will have its an own list of widgets which could be which is a raised button actually two raised button i'm saying raise button one raise button two let's save it you will see that hey we have this you know two buttons on a single column because of row and this simple text widget again if the text widget looks annoying so we will just add some padding and i'm saying this app padding is 20 save it and cool now we have two raised buttons there is a text and again after this row we can immediately put another widget let's say i'm saying flat button and a flat button is present i'm saying on pressed which is null then it has a child which is a text widget and this is flat come on flat button save it and see this is how great uis you know i mean this is how we can keep working with uis and in this looking cool i mean my body has a center widget that makes sure that everything is at the center of the screen and the center widget has a column so this is a column and we have three columns column one column two column three column one has a single you know just a single widget which is padding and the padding widget you know this padding widget has a child that's a text widget my column two has a widget which is a row and my row widget has a children that's a list of widgets which are two buttons then my third column has another single but widget that's a flat button and that's pretty much it so i hope that you guys had a good time trying to understand rows and columns which is an important concept in flutter and if you are you know if you keep practicing these rows and columns creating simple dummy uis then trust me you are going to do good in flutter so if you found this video useful, do let me know and I'll catch you up soon in the next video where we'll probably be talking about stateful widgets and stateless widgets obviously. So I'll catch you up soon in the next video. Till then keep loving, keep coding and keep sharing these videos.